All right, how's it going? Welcome yourselves back to the Curtis Price channel. Today, we will indeed be continuing our adventure looking into the most problematic YouTuber, the Karen of YouTube, who is above all else supreme. And no human on this plane would dare cross her, or you will indeed have your personal information leaked as an example of her power. And that woman is indeed without a crystal ball, aka Katie Joy. Now, if I was to put it lightly, uh, she is the superior Karen. She looks like a pissed off bull chewing on a wasp. He says as he puts it lightly. <laughs> and among the lights, there is also darkness. Today we shall be talking about lawyers speaking upon Katie. How much money potentially is involved with the lawsuit. Scamming, doxing, etc. Lots of information for a person with lots of opinions. But to give you a quick recap of my last video, we're going to spend one minute looking over everything. And unfortunately, one minute is a record time that I've lasted doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, without the crystal ball, YouTuber who is all about investigating and information decided to stalk Tati Westbrook by looking into her family's records, even into her next door neighbours. And she publicly spoke about this information while acting all smug and not realising that Tati's families are not public figures. Therefore, their information is not out there for the public eye. But of course, Katie put that on display for the entire world to see. She also defamed Tati's husband by saying he forced his mother on her deathbed to sign all of her inheritance to him, meanwhile keeping the rest of his family out of it. However, this was indeed deemed to be wrong. I believe James to be a bit of a stud, a lovely block. <laughs> Please spend Christmas with me, James. She also tried to paint him as a drug lord on the account of a criminal record. And that criminal record was the use of drugs when he was a teenager. Yep, a drug lord, everyone. A criminal mastermind. I suppose I can expect cocaine in my stocking this year. Maybe even meth. So that was a recap of my last video. Please feel free and go and watch it. It wouldn't be the first time I've been used over and over for a certain benefit, if you get what I mean. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to no man's land. Look at my phone screen, probably in a message from a person that knows me. I'm a violation on the system to show me from the girls I'm living on fight for. I don't wear a witch on my wristbands, bike up. Oh yeah, they owe me. Ain't a motherfucker ever gone, control me. Too many drugs, got a kid on sight, dog. Five years later, I still want to blow my mind up. Get away from me, get away from me. You ain't safe. All right, how's it going, all right? Now, it's almost Christmas soon. You know, the lovely time of the holiday. And never did I ever expect someone like Katie Joy to shit on my Christmas tree. Because after all, everything is about her and how hard her life is. Now, Katie does in fact have a son with some health problems, unfortunately. However, I'm not going to be talking about that too much in this video because he's not a public figure. Because his information is in fact private, Katie. Now, what sort of man would I be to dig into your son's background? It's just a bit embarrassing, Katie, when you can't learn from your own mistakes, but someone else can. But her son isn't very well, okay? He's had many operations and Katie actually did a live stream or a video talking about her Son. But she managed to make it all about her. You know, her son has medical issues, but somehow it's more difficult for her than it is for her son. I, I don't have a clue. When my son was admitted for emergency brain surgery in June. Except... So he had two brain surgeries in December of 2017, another brain surgery in April of 2018, and then a open heart surgery on August 8th, 30th. And August and the heart surgery literally like slapped us in the face and like threw us on the floor. I felt like I got my ass kicked. I don't like to focus on just like the disability. That's why I actually stopped writing about my son. I got a lot of media coverage when I was writing about my son. I was featured in really large publications and like interviewed by really big like newspapers and magazines and like I was in the Huffington Post and stuff. But it's like, I didn't want to be known as the mother of a child that has a disability because I feel like it just pigeonholes me and I just think I'm so much more than that. Wow. That uh, was um, shit. That was fucking dreadful. With the greatest respect, Katie, how have you been feeling recently? You, you haven't felt, felt, you know, maybe, maybe a spacing, spacing out here or there. Or there. Are, Are you okay? okay? You, you don't, don't look, look so good. good. Truthfully, I worry about you, Kate, and I just can't help it. Talking about how difficult it is for her, oh, Katie, just please, just stop talking for one minute. It's a bit hypocritical on my part, but what are you going to do? Huh? You don't want to be known as a mother with a disabled child. Oh my goodness, that's, I can't believe she said that. You deserve uh, an award for one of the strangest thinking people 
I've ever met in my life. Like, that should be the award because it's all based around me. It's the way he was going in for his heart surgery and it, it just knocked her flat. Like, things are so difficult for you, Katie, aren't they? I, I honestly wish him the best and I hope he gets better for your sake and for his sake. But mostly for yours because it's about you, right? And you say that you don't want to be known as a mother with a child who has disabilities. Okay. <laughs> but once again, I wish all the best to Katie's son. I hope he's doing all right, and I hope he'll be okay. But before we talk about Doxon, I actually want to talk about Katie's defamation case she had when she told lies about James Westbrook. There he is again. He's so handsome. You know what? I should probably stop just before I get my own case of harassment and a red ass from my girlfriend. But a lawyer did actually comment on the situation where Katie was defaming James, and you won't believe what they said. But before that, you won't believe who said it. The person who commented on this was, in fact, Katie's lawyer. Katie's lawyer uh, had this to say, and if you're wondering what this is, uh, this wet patch, I don't know if you can see it. Um, I didn't dribble on myself. I poured water on myself by accident. Now, moving on. What did she say? He say. What if somebody says he is a professional crook to their 100k followers? asking for a friend. What if somebody calls him a career criminal? Asking for a friend. Calling someone a professional crook sounds like defamation. Of course, context always matters. For example, if a comedian said it during a stand-up comedy, that may not be defamation. <laughs> well done, Katie. Well f***ing done. This lawyer just dragged you right under the bus. And the fact that your lawyer just had to comment on it, I... I can't help but find that extremely comedic. I also want to talk about, there might be some misunderstanding here of what I am on YouTube. Uh, I've heard the word drama channel, um, various other things, a sex god, but we won't talk about those. She knows. I like to find stupid things that I see on the internet and call them stupid and make as much fun as I can as possible. However, people wouldn't enjoy that, so I have to include information. I guess I'm a drama channel then. <laughs> But speaking of the Westbrooks, you know, after you literally dug into their family and found out private information about them who aren't public figures, remember those, Katie? Tati threatened to sue you. A lawsuit. And I can't imagine how much money must be involved. I don't know anything about, like, how much legal stuff costs. Like, I... I... Oh haven't ever been there so like what this what's Tati the Westbrook range of this stuff this yeah. Tati Westbrook lawsuit the business partner suit could easily be a two three four million dollar lawsuit on legal fees alone looking at the firms involved and looking at how much wrangling's involved but so the defamation suit could easily cost upwards of uh four five hundred thousand dollars depending on how much pre oh pre-work motions have to go into that wow katie that's a lot of moolah -la. you walk these stepping stones and you thought you know what's gonna be a good idea to dig into tati's family one of the richest youtubers in the world and you thought it'd be a good idea to piss her off well well done katie because <laughs> now you're in debt and you're gonna lose the lawsuit. And it's funny to me because you say things with such pride, such confidence. But then you prove the authenticity of your words through being a hypocrite. A hypocrite is someone, ladies and gentlemen, who accuses someone of something or tells them not to do it, and then they repeat those things themselves. That is what a hypocrite is, aka <laughs> Katie Joy. Sorry, I had a bit of a <laughs> bit of a muscle spasm there when I turned my neck. Being a hypocrite actually leads me lovely onto our Doxin segment. We're actually going to be visiting someone who specifies in these sort of things. Doxin hacking. He doesn't really. It's just me with an outfit on. But pretend for the, you know, the, uh, the, the narrative. But let's take a trip, ladies and gentlemen, to Hijack Hideout. It's pretty good, right? Uh, I just thought of it on the spot, actually. It was meant to be called Hacking's Lair. But I just fucking, I'm, I'm a genius is what I am. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright everyone, welcome to Hijack Hideout. No, don't worry everyone, I'm not going to be talking like that. However, this is the place where I cough and hack at the thought of Katie Joy having dominance over me. So Creepshow at a very lovely channel who made a fantastic video on Without a Crystal Ball. It was quite a lengthy video, but it covered a lot of the things that Katie Joy was guilty for. But as a response to Shannon's video, Katie complained that she's losing thousands of subscribers, thousands of dollars, all because of the video that Shannon made. Allow me, my friends, there might be an element of lacking common sense there. I'm not too sure, but... <laughs> 
Katie, you're looking a bit short these days, love. If someone makes a video on all the mistakes that you've done, all right? All the mistakes you've done, someone makes a video on it, and you lose subscribers, whose fault is that done, huh? Well, can't be mine for sure. You were the person making these mistakes, Katie. Nobody else. It's your fault for making those mistakes in the first place, love. Oh, listen, right, listen. Uh, I stole this bloke's car, right? I stole it, and I was driving down the motorway, and uh, I was caught, I was, by a bloke called Jimmy. Now I've got to go to jail. It's all Jimmy's fault. Jail by crikey! Well, Jimmy should have let you got away with it, shouldn't he? Well, it's not Jimmy's fault. Because I stole the fucking car. <laughs> and Creepshow got her information from those people. So, that's why that video is so bad. I'm losing subscribers because of it, but everything in that video is false. You are the reason you're losing subscribers, Katie. Oh, for goodness sake, you are the reason. Nobody else. But Katie's official response to uh, Creepshow Art for making that video um, is by doxing. That's right, everyone. Doxing. Where you release someone's personal information out for the public eye. So Katie done this to Shannon uh, because Shannon made a video on her. Um, maybe I am just misunderstanding the situation here. Katie is already in deep enough shit as it is. Please, for the living Christ of God, please stop making these mistakes or else you could up end up in jail. I mixed up my words there, see? Getting a bit sweaty in this black bin bag. And the hilarious thing about all this is what Katie had to say in the past. This is where it comes in, ladies and gentlemen, where you say something to everyone and then you become a hypocrite because of what you've done. Let's have a look. No stranger on the internet should know any of this. And if you devour devoured it and ate it up and thought it was your place to know this, I don't even know what to say. You don't stand with a child if you have to know what that is. Because standing with a child means you stand for their privacy. You stand for their autonomy and you respect their story. And you don't exploit their story and eat it up because you need to know about it. That's the definition of a trauma porn story. All right? I don't understand why anyone felt um, that it was their place to know these details. That is rich indeed. Shouldn't be poking your nose in people's personal information, you know, it, you know, it's not for you to look into. You do realize that, right? That's right. Please climb down from your pedestal. It's too high up there. I, I can't hear you, Katie. You need to come down. However, moving on from that, let's talk about scamming, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm not sure if you want to call this scamming, but the way a giveaway usually works is you apply for it and you subscribe, you do a certain amount of tasks, and then you win something, a, a giveaway. That's usually how it works, uh, am I right? But Katie didn't do that. Oh, of course she didn't. She first asked people to subscribe, and then email her, letting them know that they're inside the competition, and they are ready to win the giveaway. Not that exact person, but someone amongst those bunch are gonna win a giveaway. That's what the set of rules were. That was in the description. But then the link in the description changed. Um, it did change. The rules changed, everyone. The rules have changed. Bravo 6 going dark. The link in the description then changed into something where you could actually send in your own money to Katie. She would then receive all the money and then give $100 out to five subscribers. Yeah, you're giving your own money to Katie for her to give away to someone else. Um, I'm a bit head fucked right now. I'm not sure if you can tell, but... What the fuck's going on? Five subscribers wins $100, okay? You get it. But she was donated uh, a lot more than $100. We provided our PayPal address. And so those people, in a total of like four, sent a total of $62 to us. Now that money is going to be used, but it's not going to be used as a part of this giveaway. So we will be matching this and we will be giving money away. But that is from the subscribers. It's not like a, directly a part of this giveaway. So where's the money going? Where is the money going? <laughs> Just to let all the people know who's riding her cock right now, you're donating money to someone to be a part of a giveaway, and the person that's hosting that giveaway is in a massive, massive lawsuit that probably owes a lot of money to the bank. Hang on a second. Is there an angry person typing a comment section right now saying that I'm wrong? Well, let's just show them this comment, shall we? This lawsuit is going to be very expensive. If you guys are interested in helping, please consider using PayPal. This, of course, your choice, and you're not obligated. But if you put two and two together, you get the picture? Yeah, you're my audience, remember? You're smart. You know what I'm talking about. Don't be so stupid to give people money. 
Just give me money, subscribe to my channel everyone and join the membership now. You get a video one day early before everyone else, it's a bag and I'm telling you, give me all your money everyone. Now it's my favourite time of the video, opinion time. So I believe that Katie is not very self aware, she doesn't understand what's right and what's wrong. She thinks that she can push away and bully people off the platform, she thinks that everyone must go towards her because she's on the throne, everyone must kiss her feet. Well, guess what, Katie? Not today. She believes that she's the queen of finding information. She believes that she's the master detective of this very world. Well, that's wrong again. Because, Katie, you got James's fucking facts wrong about uh, about his mother, saying that he was taking all the inheritance. I'm struggling to speak. I'm so excited for this bit. You also dug into Tati's family, which is not right because they aren't public figures. And your self-awareness should be is that you don't stick your noses in other people's family. You should know not to do these things. After being in trouble with lawsuits and all these other people that you're in trouble with right now. Katie, please, you gotta stop. You need to put down the fucking computer and the goddamn paperwork and just stop. Go and check on your son, make sure he's all right. That's my opinion for you. See you bitches next time. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.